Every year, Poundland seems to bring out a new head torch, LED head torch, in the sort of Tika style. And this year, the theme seems to be orange um, amongst various of their camping products. So I've got one to check out. It's the usual one. It takes three AAA batteries. And some of the things I'll be looking for are the tightness of the elasticated head brand, headband, because um, last year's was very tight. Um, it was obviously aimed at small children with even smaller heads, and it pretty much caused... Um, it, what's the word for it? Um, blood restriction in your skull. It just, it was too small. So let's uh, put this one up to its uh, absolute biggest size, and I'll just try it with a... No, let's clip the torch onto it, but not actually. It's not got batteries in it yet, so I'll put it in like that. Is that right? Because uh, that kind of doesn't make sense from a sort of falling out perspective. Uh, okay, right, uh, and I'll just try that in my head right now. It's not bad actually. I have a huge head and that's not too bad. So it's just past that test. It's holding it firmly without applying excessive pressure. Helped greatly by the width of this elastic. It's one inch elastic. I'm not too impressed at the fact that it points down the way on the bracket. So if it ever gets loose, it's going to drop out. But um, okay. Next, um, it's not got the little magnet in here. I'm not bothered about that. I'm not sure about the... Uh, aspect of having a magnet permanently positioned against the front of your forehead anyway. It's got a clicky button. It's only got three LEDs. Some of them have five, but this one has three. Cold white, the look of it. Now, battery compartment. Is it going to hold on quite well? It seems to be quite snug. So let's push the catch down. Okay. And see how easy it is to load some batteries. And for this I'm going to use more Poundland batteries. It seems uh, it seems a good idea, and in this case, it's Kodak batteries, the dead brand of yesteryear, like so many are. But good batteries. Um, so let's uh, stick these in. It's, it's quite clearly marked the polarity. and they're not jumping out instantly like a. a Oh dear, right, okay, it's not winning points for flashing already, but that's okay. Let's clip this back on and see if it closes properly. Oh, oh yes, it does, it closes quite snugly. So the modes, uh, probably based around a bike chip. Oh dear, it is. Uh, see, that's, that's not terribly functional, really. That's called epilepsy inducing. So it's three modes, the... Flickery backwards and forwards, flashing and static. Okay. Now, let's test for beam angle and uh, usability. So I'm just going to stick this on right now. And then we shall open the torch. I mean, it wouldn't be the, wouldn't be the same if we didn't open it. So I'm just going to turn the lights off and I'm going to uh, grab this. Oh, that's super annoying. Oh, and it's just fallen off the... Holder. Yeah, that uh, the fact it just drops off when you try pushing the button isn't too clever, but that's okay. Um, I have to say the beam angle is just a tiny bit high-ish, but it's not bad. Um, yeah, it's not bad at all. It's uh, it's clear enough to... it's Yeah, it's putting out a good useful amount of light. I wonder what current it's driving the LEDs at. Let's see if we can find out. It's kind of difficult to stick a meter in series with the LEDs. Uh, with the batteries, you can't really do that with because the there's such a low voltage drop across the circuitry to the LEDs that it won't give an accurate indication. But let's uh, pop this open and take a wee look inside and see if there's anything we can measure across. So we'll pop the cover off. So far, it's winning. Now with these, it usually involves just brute violence under here. There we go. See, I'm an expert taking these to bits. It took me ages to get my first ever. Uh, I was going to say pizza tickle, tikka, petzl tikka, but pizza tickle actually sounds quite good. Okay, nice simple circuit board. It really is just one of those bike chips. Can I even push the LEDs out of that? They are friction fit, very tight friction fit. Uh, 
Um, it's designed to take five LEDs, possibly for the bike application, if it's the same circuit board as used in that, or maybe that's the luxury five LED version of this, although I have to say three LEDs is doing pretty well. Uh, really, uh, ultimately, it's um, not really much to see. I I'm not even seeing the chip here. Oh, there's the chip. The chip's in the front, um, under a blob, cob, chip on board, with the little button in the back. Let's... Uh, See if we can at the very let's, uh, let's see if we can measure the current. I'm not sure how accurate this will be. Oh, you know what I could do is I'll put it on my bench meter at four point five my bench power supply at four point five volts, and it will display how much current is being drawn. That's a good idea. And if you're very lucky, I might even get the polarity wrong and blow it up. So here's the leads. Let's actually set the voltage before I do this. Uh, no, 12 volts would have just been, that would have been bright, that would have been very short. And since, uh, let's see how accurate this is, uh, I'll just grab a meter. Let's uh, grab the fluke for this. And I'll just uh, check the voltage out of this. 4.5 on the button. Yeah, it's displaying 4.57 on the power supply. It's not accurate. It came from Maplin. So not really much a surprise then. So, oh, well, let's see if that is positive. Just because it's a red doesn't mean it's positive when you're talking about China. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put that there. Uh, push the button. That nothing happens. Okay, what's going on? Oh, actually, red is negative. <sighs> I was looking for the wee spring there. I have just connected up the wrong polarity, so it may be dead now. <laughs> oh, dear. That wasn't a good result. Yeah, I've just killed it. Right, well, that was interesting. <laughs> Not really the end of the video that I was expecting. It's currently drawing 17 milliamps while doing absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, okay, well, I'm glad it's only only a pound, because I've just burst it. <laughs> End of video.